Bosom Buddies Charity's mission is to raise awareness, encourage early detection, support treatment, and celebrate healing. In the 17 years since Susan Ponchuk founded our charity, our grassroots organization has raised nearly $3 million in the fight against breast cancer. We are always looking for ways to make an impact in prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of breast cancer. From the clinical perspective, we have funded state-of-the-art equipment, including 3D mammography, work to bring that screening technology to our underserved community to facilitate early detection. We have also funded ultrasound equipment for diagnostics and therapeutic intervention, tattooing to improve reconstruction cosmetic results, nurse navigation services to enable the patient to understand the treatment process and coordinate with their healthcare team, and genetic counseling services providing critical information to enable patients to make informed decisions about their care and mitigate future risks for their families. Equally important to the life-saving clinical care for the disease is the emotional well-being of the individual and their family. We provide community events to raise awareness and offer survivors opportunities for fellowship. We partner with organizations to provide access to recreation activities such as boating that build healthy bodies and spirits. We also partner with local organizations to provide care packages, mentoring, wellness services, counseling, retreats for families, as well as hospice care. We are relentless in our pursuit to eradicate this devastating disease and to provide support to individuals on their journey. Hi, I'm Jenny Orla, Physician Assistant at Luminous Health Plastic Surgery. Today I'm going to be performing post mastectomy nipple tattooing. So I see the patient from their diagnosis of breast cancer through their surgical recovery and finally on to the last step, which is their nipple tattooing. And it's great after the tattoo, we hug, their tears. The patient is so happy to be at the finish line, so to speak, with their reconstruction. And I'm very, very happy and so honored that I can be a part of that. And I want to thank Bosom Buddies Charities for their generous donation so I can upgrade my equipment and provide the most professional tattoo work. You can find more information about our cutting edge technology and procedures at luminoushealth.org on the plastic surgery page. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Serena and I'm a radiologist with Annapolis Radiology Associates covering Luminous Health and Anne Arundel Medical Center. If you were to ask me what Bosom Buddies means to me, I would say ultimately an unwavering support in the diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer. Ever since I started here nearly 15 years ago, I've known exactly who they were because I've seen the impact that they can make in my practice and in the medical center in general. They're able to provide these great donations of new machines, 3D mammography, specimen radiographs, you know, really do make a difference. For instance, if a woman doesn't have to drive more than a half hour to get her mammogram, because now there's one in her neighborhood, she may actually, you know, go ahead and get that annual mammogram and it may save her life. Being told that you have cancer and breast cancer really stops you in your tracks and it's forever life-changing. What we hear most often is the waiting. The waiting for that diagnosis can just be overwhelming. And these gifts that those and buddies have provided really help us shrink that time, that waiting time down, because what never ceases to amaze me is the strength and resilience of these women that I talk to. And they are ready to fight and ready to start beating these cancers. So I thank you very much, those and buddies, and all that support them. Hi, my name is Roberta Lilly. I'm the breast surgeon and the medical director at Clark Comprehensive Breast Center in Easton, Maryland. I'm here to talk about the impact that Bosom Buddies Charities has had on our practice. I came here in 2012, and the very first thing that I asked about was, where's the Faxatron? Next thing I know, about eight months later, I had a Faxatron because of Bosom Buddies Charities. The machine that they gave us essentially streamlines the care that I give in the operating room. It allows me to look at the specimen in real time while the patient is still asleep, but it totally changed my practice. There's thousands of women who have benefited from that. So I'm doing five to eight surgeries a week, 
and virtually every one of them I use the Paxitron. The other uh, device that they have given me is a very nice ultrasound machine. So the ultrasound machine is what I use to localize these tumors. So when you have a woman who comes in with breast cancer, you can't necessarily see it when you go into the operating room. You have to have a way to find it. So having my own ultrasound in the operating room allows me to look at where the tumor is and go get it. So it has affected thousands of women who've had the benefit of that. Having community organizations such as yours that have shown steadfast uh, support for what we're doing, I'm going to choke up, makes all the difference. Hi, I'm Pat Wyman. I'd like to thank Bosom Buddies for your donation to Leslie's Week back in 2020 and 2021 when we were able to go on vacation. Uh, gave us a week away from the daily grind at home, away from everything that had happened. It allowed John and I to both process everything to help us move forward. Unfortunately, my wife Carrie passed before she could benefit from your donation gave us a chance to interact with people that had been through or were going through the same thing that we had gone through. It helped both of us quite a bit. It helped John more than he thought. One morning while we were on the retreat, he started out saying he didn't think he could go through it the day, but by lunchtime he was coming running up saying he found a new friend and couldn't wait to go back for the afternoon. Your donation helped out more than I could ever say. I would like to thank you very much. Hi, uh, my name is Emily Karcher Schmidt, and I'm a breast cancer survivor of seven plus years now. My journey began on the eve of my 10th wedding anniversary. We're so excited. We had just found out we were pregnant with our fourth. So right about the time that I happened to get pregnant, I kind of was persistent and I said, are we sure I'm healthy enough to have another baby? I just felt something was a little bit not right. On the day of June 24th, 2015, I went in, I found out that I was pregnant. They did a 3D sonogram to be safe. And I remember the sonogram technician took a lot longer than I'd ever had and she was very detailed about the left side of my armpit. And that was the side that I had had this fibroadenoma for a decade. So they took me back and there's a radiologist and she shows me the screen and it looks like an octopus hiding behind the fibroadenoma. Now remember at this time I learned that I was very newly pregnant. I'm so grateful and I have to put this into perspective because if I hadn't wanted this baby so much, I wouldn't have been so diligent about asking my doctor one more time, am I okay to carry a pregnancy? This baby saved my life and there's no way around it. You're like, how do I make a choice? I was so newly pregnant and they couldn't accurately diagnose and stage me without getting a lot more tests that put a fetus at risk. She said, honey, sometimes things make the choice for you and you have cancer and we have to go through with treatment in order to give you your best shot. Cancer itself is a marathon. I'm seven plus years out and I still need a lot of support. So when I was sitting in that chemo chair um, in 2015 and I was completely broken, I had had a bilateral mastectomy, I had a port in me, that was just the outside. Inside I knew I was gonna need a lot of support. As a mom with three young children, um, I just didn't know where to find it. You can go to therapy all day long, but 
in the end, you're gonna need something for your whole self. And for me, that included motherhood at the forefront. And when I found the Wellness House and what they provide to not just the person who's surviving, but the entire family, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that something existed 20 minutes from my home that could do so much, that could mean so much, that could give so much on so many different levels. It's genuinely because of organizations like Bosom Buddies Charities that the Wellness House can keep giving to people like me. Hi, I'm Gail Mangan Castle and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I had my journey begin in April of 2022. I found it myself and it was one of those moments where you just couldn't believe there was something inside of you that was a rock. And I just kept questioning, saying, what is this? What is this? This can't be. I just saw my physician just three, four months ago. You know, I had the mammogram. I had everything done. All the tests were right. I do it every year but this didn't seem right. I just, I remember saying, oh wait, just wait a week. I'm glad I didn't wait too long because from what I hear, waiting too long, you know, and I luckily went in. I just questioned it and they grabbed me right away, said yes, absolutely, come in this week. I had an ultrasound which showed that I had a bilobed tumor, but you could feel it. It was hard as a rock. And we waited a week. It was during April vacation, so I decided to still go on vacation with my family, but do you relax? No. We're on our beach, uh, you know, loving life with my two kids, trying to take in every moment because honestly, when I received the phone call, I, I really truly believe I had no life right after that day. So I was planning, okay, do we have the will? Do we have everything set for my daughter who is 11? My son is 16. I tried to take in every moment I could. It was hard. I had surgery May 17th. It was now stage 2B. So it had moved quickly to my lymph nodes and it was micro metastasized. But here I am. My friend Lisa just happened to be there right at the, the right time. And she said, you know, you need to come out with me. I have some great women. I bet you didn't even know we're here in Annapolis. We went to Eastport and hooked up with a lot of ladies for dragon boating. We all shared the same thing, but every single person I talked to, totally different. Um, somebody had proton therapy, somebody had photon therapy, they had this chemo or that. And through this, someone said, well, you realize that, you know, Bosom Buddy Charity has helped us. And then when they started telling me also SOS and, and the nurse navigators, wow, this is an amazing group. They help so many of the people who touched my lives not even a year yet, uh, it's coming up to that, but here I am, I'm back painting, working with all the students at the Broadneck Elementary School, and I'm working with kids, painting murals, and um, moving forward, trying the best I can to just smile, even though I had those moments. Um, but I just found out, I had a friend who reached out to me, and she just found out that she also has cancerous cells, and um, I'm walking her through it. And so we come full circle, you know? So I'm just very grateful for life. <laughs> Thank you. We are grateful to you all for supporting Bosom Buddies charities throughout the years. Thank you for watching this video and to the speakers who shared their incredible stories with us this evening. Hearing the experiences and how Bosom Buddies charities has helped make a difference in their lives is exactly what drives us to continue to battle breast cancer so vigorously. We always strive to raise awareness and find innovative ways to support patients and their families in our communities. Please join us in our mission and we can soar to new heights together. If you're lost, you can look back.